Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Survival video. With the release of Survival Mode being tomorrow, and uh, since I've been lucky enough to play it a week early, I thought I'd do a top 5 tips for beginners. Now you can sink a lot of hours into this game without any real progress, so I thought I'd share my experiences to help you guys out. So today we're going to be going over the main 5 aspects of Scrap Mechanic Survival and how to help you get through the beginning parts of the game successfully. So we're going to start with food. Now, at the start of the game, you will come across chests scattered around your fiery ship. These usually have food in them and will sustain your hunger and thirst for the next couple of nights while you repair your ship, build yourselves a small vehicle, and get yourself familiarized with the farming mechanics. However, the best and easiest source of food that requires no farming whatsoever is cow's milk. As you've probably noticed, there is loads and loads of corn dotted around the area. If you harvest the corn and put it on the ground near some cows, they will begin to eat it. After three corn, they will produce one milk. Now, cows have no limit on the amount you can feed them, so go crazy. Cow's milk is probably one of the easiest food sources to find in any sort of situation, so make sure you keep lots on you at all times. Now, probably the most important aspect of Scrap Mechanic Survival is the looting aspect. So, when you start a new world, the game will get you familiarized with smashing chests, picking up random objects from shacks and bot-filled buildings, and loot from all around the map. Now, all the loot on the map and in buildings will respawn after about a day or so. So, if you find some nice looting areas near your base, make sure to check back every day for some new loot. Now, one of my main tips for looting is to loot everything, and I mean everything, especially oil. Now, oil is found in lakes and in the ocean. Oil is obviously used to convert into gas, and gas we need to power machines and vehicles. Now, these things can be very fuel intense, so you're going to need lots and lots of oil and lots and lots of gas. So make sure to stock up on them. My second tip for looting is to make sure that you always keep a bed on your vehicle or place a bed down on the ground where you are looting. There's no real consequences for dying in scrap mechanics, so take advantage of close by respawns. The last thing you'll need when looting is to make sure you use your mechanics lift and also your seat. You can place a seat high up and sit in it to be transported to the next floor. You can also do this to get yourselves out of some sticky situations. Now the third aspect, and again probably one of the most important, is farming. Now farming is the main source of currency in survival. Taking your freshly grown crops to the packing station, to then give to the greedy old trader that will give you your currency for his shop. Here is where you will progress in the game by getting yourself some weapons, farming tools, and some fancy outfits. Now to make life easier, you will want to pick a farming location next to water. Well, you know, for obvious reasons. Then you'll want to barricade your farming perimeter with any blocks, shack walls, and basically any other thing you can pop down to stop the bots. Now, bots will come at night time and they will be hungry and, well, you know, they're going to destroy your crops, so be prepared. So my main tip for farming is take a break between growing crops each night. How the scrap mechanic survival systems work is it goes in waves. Now, the more nights you farm, the harder the waves are going to get. So take a break from farming. I don't know. Go and have a bath in this the ocean or something like that and just chill out. Taking a break in between the nights will give you a more manageable and stress-free way to grow crops. So yeah, take a break. Our fourth aspect of the game is vehicles. Now, vehicles is the main way to travel in survival. So, to do this, you're going to want to build your very own vehicle. This could be anything you could imagine, but for beginners, it will have to be a square bumpy wheels and a crappy old scrap engine. But after you find yourself a mechanic station and build yourself a craft bot, the first thing you want to do is craft some proper wheels. These wheels will make such a massive difference when it comes to traveling around. It will save yourself fuel as well. Now, speaking of fuel, the next thing you really want to do is upgrade your engine. Get rid of that really bad scrap engine. Get yourself a proper engine and focus on upgrading it. Now, my main tip for building a vehicle is don't be afraid to add some blocks around the wheels and the engines. These parts are very expensive early on and the bots won't think twice to smashing them to pieces. So make sure you protect all of your valuables, guys. 
Now the final aspect of scrap mechanic, you guys, you, you know, you beginners, you'll need to know about enemies. Now in scrap mechanic survival, you will face tons of enemies and there are plenty of ways to deal with them. Whip bots and hair bots are the most common and frequent foes you will face. Whip bots are the easiest, with three swings of your scrap mechanic hammer, they will die and drop circuit boards. You will only get whipped by the bots if you stand too close, but they will only take away 15 damage. Next up are hair bots. Now these angry fellows hit harder and take longer to kill. Five swings of your shiny hammer and they will go down. However, they are faster and a lot more aggressive than whip bots and they do spawn in numbers and they can quite easily take you down. So the best tip is to continuously move backwards while swinging. This will minimize the chances of you getting hit and, you know, dying. The other great way to take out hair bots without taking any damage whatsoever is to scoop up a bucket of water and throw it at them. Now this will temporarily disable and paralyze them so you can swing away without getting hurt. These guys will take off 30 health if they hit you, so three hits and you're nearly dead. <laughs> now guys, there are plenty of other bots in this game, but you won't come across them for a while. But if you do somehow manage to come across any of the harder bots, make sure you run away and you run away fast. Now that has been my top five tips for scrap mechanic survival beginners. Hopefully this video has been quite informative and helpful to you guys. If you did enjoy this video and you found it helpful, then please leave a like on the video. And I appreciate you very much. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye!